Yeah. So was res was love not the answer to respect? No. Okay. Love, uh, love does not demand respect. I thought if maybe the parent taught love to the child, the child would return love and there would be a respect of, of the individual in that. Yeah, but the whole terminology of respect is really an intellectual one rather mm -hmm. than an emotional one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. when, we're, when we're looking for a feeling from our children, isn't it a feeling more of gratitude and appreciation mm -hmm. and, and thankfulness and those kind of feelings? Mm -hmm. And aren't those kind of feelings, those kind of feelings, if we really want them, don't they really just come from the heart? So how can you manufacture, like, it's a bit like when, when a child does something wrong, right? Let's say a child does something wrong, such as like, goes up to another child and kicks it in the shins, right? So from most parents would think, well, that wasn't good, right? <laughs> Although some parents would probably be glad. Well, it's your kid, it's your kid that did the kicking. Yeah. You know, so the child does so well. Yeah. 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 But let's say the child goes up and the parent's concerned, right? The parent's concerned and the child's just kick the other child in the shins. Now, what a lot of parents do is say, go up and say sorry to little Johnny. Right? Mm -hmm. Go up and say sorry. Now, if the child doesn't feel sorry in their heart, mm -hmm. what do they learn when we tell them this? All they learn is that if I go up and mm -hmm. say sorry, Later on, I can kick him in the shins again <laughs> and say sorry too. You know? And it doesn't do anything. And mum and dad's not going to punish me. Nothing's going to happen, right? Because I'm just going to say sorry and kick him in the shins and I'll get away with this. Also, the parents are not seeing the truth. And that is, there, there must be anger within the child for them to go up and kick the other child. And that anger had to have come from the child's immediate environment, whether that's the parents themselves and their emotions or something happening immediately in their environment. The parents need to look more sincerely at that issue. Now, if you go and clout the child, what are you teaching your child there? Well, when someone's bigger, they can clout you. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's what you're teaching them, aren't you? If you're bigger, then you can get clouted by someone. So what's going to happen as they get bigger? They're going to feel that if there's someone smaller than them that's done something that they believe is wrong, even if it's not, and they believe it, what are they going to do? Just clout them, right? punching one in the nose or whatever. So the real issue for a lot of these things is, is that often we're not seeing the true cause emotionally of all these things. Does that make sense? We're not looking at the true cause. So the issue of respect, for example, of children respecting their parents. Hey Jerry, the, the issue of children respecting their parents is, is one that's pretty... If a, if a child does not respect the parent, then there's something the parent has taught the child that there's a spirit of unthankfulness and ingratitude in the child and that's why they don't respect the parent. Does that make sense? Yes. Now the parent can go and demand respect if that's what they want to do, but in the end it doesn't deal with any of the causes. And unless you deal with the cause, nothing is going to change. Right? You can demand respect. You look at all the laws of the land of this, of this country, for example, You've literally got hundreds of thousands of laws. Most of you have got no idea what, in fact, they are, because you've got so many, right? <laughs> and in that's, that's in, in fact, why you have a lawyer, <laughs> because there's meant to be people who have meant to know all of these laws, and even they don't know the laws, and so they have a lawyer's assistant <laughs> to help them research all these laws. And then, you know, there's all the taxation laws, and there's this law and that law and everything. All these laws, they're all to, done to change someone's behaviour, aren't they? Most mm -hmm. of the time. Mm -hmm. The taxation laws are to change your behaviour. So in, a, in, start, in other words, instead of getting 100% of what you earn, it changes your behaviour so that you have to give 40% or 30% or whatever it is to the government and there's, they, you know, you're indoctrinated as to why you should do all of these things. And these laws are created to change your behaviour. But what really changes behaviour? It's how a person feels inside. Mm -hmm. So what do you get? You get this black market thing going on, right? Cash deals underhand, all those things. Why are all those things happening? Because the original thing, which is the heart, is not getting changed anyway. And so people are going to want to break the law because they don't feel it's fair and there's lots of other things going on. Now, so what do they do then? They make another law that if you break the law, this is what's going to happen. So there's another set of laws that... If you break this law, we're going to do this to you. Right? And then they have a whole set of law enforcers. 
right? There's this whole, there's this whole huge industry created you know, to help you deal with the effect and not address the cause. And the, 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 but how much of the industry is focused on dealing with a person's heart? Almost zero, right? There are some, but there's mostly very, very few people involved in the industry of changing people's emotions, of getting the emotions that are within a person that cause them to do certain actions out of them. And we've got to be very careful as, as parents of children that we don't fall into the same trap that the society in generally, generally has fallen into with regard to law. And you look at it as parents, we often create laws that only deal with an effect. And they don't address the cause. And it's a much, much cleverer system if you can find a law that deals with the cause and imply that and impose that law. And one thing to remember about God is that every single law God has ever made always deals with the cause. Never with an effect. It always deals with what drives you to do it and never with the fact that you've dealt, done it. 